Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering images within Figma. Figma makes it incredibly easy to add and use images inside of your designs. There are three different ways to add an image. You can drag and drop images or a folder of images right from your desktop into the document. Use the copy and paste shortcuts accessible from the Figma menu at the top left or by using Command C on your keyboard to copy and Command V to paste. Or finally, by navigating to the menu in the top left and choosing File, Place Image, or Command, Shift, and K. When working with images inside of Figma, it can be helpful to think about them really just as a shape with an image as the fill instead of a color. I have a square shape that I would like to be used as an image. I can navigate over to the Properties panel on the right side of Figma and click Fill. Our shape currently has a solid color fill but we can change this to an image by clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting image. A placeholder pattern appears and we can now browse for our image in Finder, just like we did when placing an image inside of our document. Inside of the Image Options menu, the first drop-down determines how the image fills with the shape. By default, Fill is chosen. Fill means that the image will fill the container, regardless of its size. By increasing or decreasing the size of the shape, we see that the image responds to the size and fills with the container shape. It is possible to rotate the fill by clicking the icon on the right side. This does not rotate the shape, only the fill. Next in the menu is Fit, which functions similarly to Fill, but it may not always fill the entire shape. As we resize the shape, the image will never be cropped or hidden. It will always remain visible. Our third option is Crop. Crop works similarly to most other crop tools that you may be familiar with. As we adjust our boundary lines, the image inside will always remain the same size. Parts of the image which are outside of the boundaries are now faded and will not be shown once our crop is applied. The last option in the drop-down menu is Tile. Tile simply repeats the original image as necessary to fill the shape. We can adjust the size using the percent value next to the Tile option, which adjusts the size of the tile. Image adjustments allow you to make quick but powerful visual adjustments to the image selected using the sliders. We can adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, temperature, tint, highlights, and shadows. Our edits are non-destructive, meaning they won't overwrite any properties of the original image, allowing us to always revert back to the original. Let's review what we've learned today. Place images into Figma using the copy and paste shortcuts, drag and drop, or place image. The keyboard shortcut for place image is Command, Shift, K. Image fills can be set to fill, fit, crop, or tile. Use image adjustments to make quick edits to your images to better fit your design.